Restless thoughts about the creation of me. As I get down on my knees to pray to thee, dear God, is it too much to ask for a body like Barbie? I have acknowledged that this body was given to me for free, but I can barely see the beauty that is installed in me, so like a child, I crave for your attention. Excusing your prior instructions to be in patient, I search for his temporary heart. Believing that if I replace your time with artificial emotions, I can skip your say-sos and grab onto this promotion because I got to admit, the brother is fine. So I rip off the caution tape from my mind so I could get a better view of lust. The more he speaks, the less I hear you. The more you scream danger, the more comfortable I am in hell. I became society's experiment, submitting to my will and drowning yours, mixing up my foundation with hurt so I can cover, girl. Maybelline told me I wasn't born with this, so I invested in a permanent eraser. Took some fat from here, got a couple of injections over here, and did a couple of implants over there. By the time I reached the heaven, God, you won't even recognize me. But wait, wait one moment before you even say anything. I know this sounds crazy, but you was taking too long, and depression overwhelmed my vision. I was so full of myself, I became Judas, trading in this temple for a couple of silvers. God, you told me you loved me and you meant it. How can you use this broken vessel? I gotta admit, it was hard trying to write this poem because it ain't easy being a woman. Natural born caretakers, but sometimes we take care of the wrong care, women. Why do we search for other women's approval instead of God's acceptance? What excites us about a man's stare than our self-worth? It's funny because society texted me yesterday that twerking would give me the man that I want. It's funny because society texts me, twerking would give me the man that I want. And I replied, prayer would give me the man God knows I need. I understand we can all can't be Proverbs 31, but we can strive not to be Proverbs 7, where her house is a highway leading down to the chambers of death. Women, we are not gossipers, we are life breathers. We are not defined by our past mistakes. We are not defined by our past mistakes because Christ makes all things new. Christ makes all things new. We are not defined by our wealth, beauty, education, or curves. The Bible utters, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. So stop. Stop letting the serpent remind you of the apple you ate because a woman who fears God is to be praised. Yeah.